Status flags are used to track processing stages. Approval flags track the receipt of usage agreements or the permission to publish files. A collection may go through multiple processing steps. When one stage completes, another stage may need to be automatically initiated. The multiple processing steps can be managed by creating status flags that track the completion of stages. The status flag is set when a process is completed. The system can then periodically check the status flags to determine whether the next stage can be started. There are multiple types of status flags, some managed as system state information and some implemented through creation of AVUs. Data retention is managed with the persistent state information attribute data expiry. This attribute can be checked to determine whether a retention period has passed. The associated disposition policy can then be applied. An access approval flag is set as an AVU attribute on a file to assert that permission has been granted to make a file publicly accessible. The data grid can periodically check the access approval flag to determine which files can have their access controls changed. The same flag can be checked to verify that permission has been previously granted for all files that have public access. If a file is found with public access for which the access approval flag has not been set, then the public access should be deleted. Use agreements may be required as a condition for setting an access approval flag. If a user has signed and submitted a use agreement, their access can be allowed to a collection. The rule HIPAA restrict access.r is described in Chapter 6.36 of the Policy Examples Workbook. This rule sets the access approval AVU value to zero and removes any public access to the file. The input variables for this rule are star call, a collection name whose files will be examined. The policy uses persistent state information, call ID, the collection internal identifier, and the collection name, call name. Data access data ID, which is the file ID for which access control is set. Data access user ID is the user ID who has access to the file. And data ID is the file internal ID. Data name is the file name. Metadata adder name is the AVU name that will be modified, access approval. Metadata adder value will be set back to zero. User ID is the internal user ID. And username is the username. The policy functions that are used are add AVU metadata to add the access approval flag to the file, check call input to verify that the input collection exists, and delete AVU metadata to delete access approval on a file if it's set incorrectly. The operations that are performed were fail, stop execution, for each, loop over result set, if, do a conditional test, MSI remove key value pairs from object to remove AVUs from a file. MSI set ACL to set access controls on the file. MSI string to key value pair to convert a string to a key value pair. Select to create a query and write line to output a result line. A description of the rule HIPAA restrict access.r is available in chapter 636 of the policy examples workbook. The rule sets an access approval flag to zero and removes public access. The steps involved in this rule are find the user ID for public and anonymous accounts, find all files in the input collection name, retrieve the AVU metadata for each file, check whether an AVU for access approval was set, remove the old value and set the new value to zero, remove access for public and anonymous accounts. Take seven minutes and complete exercise 81. For your research collection, add an access approval flag with value zero to a file. This can be done through the cloud browser or a rule or iDrop web or via an I command. Please load a paragraph for describing your result into the lifetime library in the subcollection class INLS 624 by the end of today's class. Please turn in homework assignment number 11 by noon on Monday of the next week. Identify five types of disposition policies. Note that an approval flag may be needed. The policies may require time-dependent execution. A resource is Chapter 4.9 of the Policy Examples Workbook.